You see this movie right here? You need to go watch it. Buy it, rent it, pirate it. I don't care what you do. Please watch this film because if you don't watch this film, then you will never have the opportunity to watch the film. This is Edgar Wright's second theatrical movie. John. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, totally. I know he's your best friend, but you do live with him. I know. It's not that I don't like Ed. Ed, it's not that I don't like you. Trust? Just be nice if we could. Fuck. Spend a bit more time together. Bollocks. Just the two of us. Uh, cock it. It's just with Ed here. It's no wonder I always bring my flatmates out, and then that only exacerbates things. What do you mean? Well, you guys hardly get on, do you? Now, what does exacerbate mean? It means, um, to make things worse. Right. Shaun of the Dead stars Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, Kate Ashfield as Liz, Lucy Davis, Dylan Morin. We are introduced to Sean in the bar, the Winchester, the famous, glorious Winchester. He's drinking. It's always going to be a thing in Edgar Wright's films, is drinks. Whether that be alcohol, coffee, water. We're also introduced to Liz, as well as Ed. Liz is Sean's girlfriend, and after forgetting the anniversary, I don't know how long they were actually together in the film, I haven't seen it in a while, I'm gonna rewatch it maybe tonight, we'll see. It is spooky season after all. Liz breaks up with Sean, the man is thrown into a depressive state more than he already is, he works a dead-end job as a TV appliance salesman, his co-workers don't respect him, they're a bunch of younger little punks. As Sean continues the day and or the week, we see that there is a mysterious illness ravaging the town that he lives in. He decides to take it upon himself with Ed, with his ex-girlfriend Liz, to destroy the zombie menace, make the world go back as the way it used to, at least in England, and that's as much as I'm going to say. This is a brilliant, uh, for horror comedy film. This is Edgar Wright's second film, like I said earlier. Edgar Wright has a pretty nice track record. The only film that I wish he did direct was Ant-Man, but apparently Marvel doesn't like people being creative. They just like studio stuff. So that's what, uh, that's why Ant-Man was so bad in my eyes. But this film came out in 2004. Chronologically, this is the first film in the trilogy. The first being Shaun of the Dead, of course, then Hot Fuzz in 2007, and then 2013, we have <clears throat> the world's end now this film is great there are tons of quotable lines from the main cast hey you're dead it's about some change please mister uh, yeah <laughs> Nelson. Nelson. Uh. Hello, my friend. Not be here today? No, oh, it's a bit early for me. Shot, 
even from zombies, believe it or not. They have some pretty nice uh, bits of dialogue, if you want to say. The makeup looks nice. The cinematography is nice. Edgar Wright has a very specific way of shooting his films and how he rotates and moves the camera to really give us this cartoonish, very lighthearted film. But it's not all lighthearted because the film gets very, very deep. When I say deep, I don't mean the bite marks the zombies leave. I mean, there are some things that make me on the verge of tears in this film. And if you are a film of crying and horror and laughter, I think this is the film for you. But it's not just about the zombies. It's also about maintaining a relationship and also what it's, what it's like to grow up in a world where things are changing rapidly around you and that being zombies. Now, I don't want to go into too many spoilers here, but this is a breakup film, and it could be a film about getting back with your significant other. And personally, I know what that feels like all too much, not getting back with someone, but losing someone, so this film will definitely help me. It's a great film. I would highly recommend this film. If you want a good laugh, you want a good scare, you want a, just an overall enjoyable film with great quotable lines, great looking set pieces. Everything in Edgar Wright's films is always just so tangible. Like you can grab it, touch it, flip it, smack it, hold down. It's great. The score is fantastic. I don't know who composed it. Daniel Mudford and Pete Woodhead, apparently. The score's great. film's great. Go watch Shaun of the Dead if you just want to have fun. Listen to some Queen. I think it's only one song, but regardless, it was the film that probably introduced me to Don't Stop Me Now. Yes, I'm that much of a uh, bad music taste person that, I mean, I like Queen. I've never not liked Queen, but I've never really listened to Queen because obviously Wayne's World and things like that. But this isn't about Wayne's World. This is about Shaun of the Dead. Please. Go watch the film. Go on. I'll be here. I'll catch you guys in the next review. The next film that I review will be Hot Fuzz. Probably my favorite of the trilogy. And I'm going to get into some reasons why. Because it's a great film. Anyways, catch you guys in the next review. Might be tomorrow. Might be Sunday. Might be Monday. I don't know. Uh, anyway, my pizza is going to be ready soon. So I got to eat. Do you want anything from the shop? Cornetto.